and really made her take on the responsibilities or just help her grow. Whereas the other one, it was really mostly just managing. So please welcome our next speaker with her title, with the title of her speech. Why do people hate their managers? Amelia Pienkowska. Said 
that they would be doing their manager's job much better. <coughs> the second feature we all should avoid is micromanagement. Very well known, I think, by most of you. Micromanagers are very special type of people who believe that their employees are just not competent enough or just not dedicated enough to do their job. One thing that they tend to do is to take the tasks their employees have completed and redo it. My friend, for example, her manager is obsessed with correct business English. So what he does, he takes all the documentation prepared by his employees and rewrites it completely. This kind of behavior kills creativity and lowers the self-esteem of his employees. Another example, my, one of my managers used to not like one of my colleagues very much. So she was micromanaging her. How? Every time my colleague went to the bathroom, went on lunch, had a break, the manager would sit with her mobile and like our timer, calculate. How long was she on that break? Crazy, I know. The last but not least feature of this hated managers is the lack of appreciation. According to Ilya, the appreciation is the thing that breeds the value and the loyalty in the company. Everyone likes to be recognized and appreciated for what they've done at work. One of my worst managers, after the or during the yearly evaluation, told me that none of my achievements which I listed on my self-evaluation form were any achievements at all. <laughs> so what I did, I quitted my job as soon as possible if, and found a new one. Yes, incompetence, lack of appreciation and micromanagement are very important reasons why we hate our managers. These are these are not the only reasons, but I would say that they are the most important. For us, if we would like to become better leaders, we need to learn how to be competent, how to make the employees want to learn from us and trust our knowledge. At the same time, we need to trust in our employees and on top of that, we need to appreciate their daily work so they will feel valued.